Hi, I'm Tanya from Lovely Greens, and today we're with Harry Owens, who is the Chief Bee Inspector and Consultant to the Isle of Man government. Hi, Harry. Hello, hello. Fantastic. Thank you so much for meeting me today. My pleasure. And we're here to talk about honeybees, and in particular, Manx bees. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask you a little bit about why are bees important to not only beekeepers, but to everyone? Bees are important to everybody. In fact, not just the honeybee. The solitary bees, bumblebees, all sorts of insects that pollinate. Without them, we wouldn't have our food source. So what type of food are they responsible, other than honey? Well, all the seed crops, for instance, other than corn, wheat, etc., those, those are, are airborne and pollinated that way, and so is the maize that uh, corn the cob. But you can look at the rest of them, all the, all the plants and vegetables and flowers, etc. Without bees, they would not. Uh, be brought on. They, if you look at fruit that's not properly pollinated, for instance, uh, strawberries and things like that, the shape of them, if, if they're not being pollinated, is pretty grim. So those weird strawberries that we see online that you know look like animals, yeah. it's because they're not properly pollinated. Yeah, that's more than likely it. Yeah. So bees are important worldwide for yes. food production, mm -hmm. but why are they special here on the Isle of Man? They're special in the Isle of Man because we've managed by virtue of a big accident really, people stopped bringing bees in in 1987 or before that probably, but uh, we decided, uh, well, fortunately we had beekeepers in those days, one you can name as Herbie Quirk, who's a renowned beekeeper here, and Trevor Rimmer, and they, they thought that we wanted to keep bees out of the Isle of Man because we had no fowl brood. In those days there was no such thing as a bromide to cause trouble. And they, they persuaded the government with a, an MLC called We Quirk, who was also a beekeeper. And they got the Act, or the Bee Disease Act, put through our parliament. And it's been in effect since 1988. And that has kept bees at bay. And we haven't had the, the, the foul brood, which is devastating. And we just don't want that sort of thing in here. And at the same time, it's kept out of the bromite, because it was not possible to bring bees in, or what, 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 against the what law, is, I should say. What is the Varroa mite and what does it do? The Varroa mite is a tiny insect, the size of a pinhead. It's between uh, mid-brown to bright red. It's uh, an insect that derived from the, uh, the archipelagos out by um, Korea, South Korea, Java, and all around that area. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was on a, a bee called Apis serrana, which was its host it evolved through the evolution with it, mm -hmm. and that bee could could deal with it. That, um, in, other, in other words, um, they existed together in the hive, didn't do any harm whatsoever because the, the serrana bee would uh, get so if it got fed up with them, it would kill them and throw them out of the hive. But the varroa mite is now outside of that area yes. and is on our bees. Yeah. What does it do to our bees? Well, it, what it does is it, it predates them, it sucks their blood, to be quite honest. Mm. Uh, uh, it also one of the problems with it is, not only does it do that, and it gets large amounts of, of the raw mite in the hive, and great quantities of them, but it, it transmits viruses. Now these viruses have been in existence with bees, and bees have lived with them. And it was uh, re reason reasonably benign. It didn't affect them, it didn't uh, kill off, it didn't do things like that. Just an odd bee would get the virus. But the raw mite is a vector that has made it uh, that the, uh, the actual virus, um, the virile virus now, not benign, and it, what it does is, one of the worst ones of the lot, and uh, it, it, it go, the bromide goes in, into a cell that the bee is pupating, it's like going at the chrysalis stage. Mm -hmm. it, it's capped over by the bees, and she goes in and she lays one egg male and then four or five female eggs. As soon as they, they hatch, the eggs hatch out, they in turn are mated by the male who then dies. But at the same time, the boromite is sucking off the, the, the insect or the, the grub in the chrysalis stage and it transmits a virus into it. One of the worst ones is the deformed wing virus. And the poor old bee comes out of the, when it hatches as, it, as like a butterfly or a, or a moth would hatch out of chrysalis without wings. Or so part it's, legs so, gone or whatever. So essentially a varroa mite is a parasite yep. but it also transmits disease mm. and it can result in deaths of an entire colony. Yep. So what you're saying, Mitrish. on the Isle of Man we don't have any foul brood at the moment. Correct. Fingers crossed. Yep. And we also 
you were involved personally in making sure that there was no Varroa on the island. It took two years, didn't it? Two years, one after the other, yeah. consecutive years. Yeah. It, it, was a, it was a condition that we wanted special status from the EC to yeah. say that the Isle of Man had the status of non um, Bromites, and also that we were permitted then to, to maintain our, our foul brood uh, law. So what it, they reinforced the law that we have, mm. or in existence since '88. But if somebody wanted to be bloody minded, and and say right, the EC said I can take it in, whatever you want to say, like you, you know the free passage of goods, etc. Mm -hmm. But the EC then uh, concurred with us mm. and said right, you have every right to do that. We passed the law so to we're reinforce protected. it. We're legally not we protected. Are. We are a protected site. So there's only two places in the world without varroa mite. That's the Isle of Man and Australia. Australia. Is that right? a, yeah. Well, there's an island off um, Hel off somewhere off Helsinki. Okay. So there's a, just a few. Places, oh yeah, very really. very tiny. And yeah. there's one Calnsey yeah. off the west coast of Scotland. So what happens? What would happen if some bees were brought to the Isle of Man inadvertently and they had varroa? What would happen? devastating. We, we would then start that, uh, we would lose a great deal of bees. Um, the beekeepers would have to, to treat for it, not necessarily win, because the varroa mite is virulent, it causes what the problem I described, and to actually eradicate it would be impossible. Once it got in, that's it. We, and beekeeping as it is now, which is the old type of beekeeping which is envied by many, many people, would end. And we would then have to do, uh, well, take precautions like do in the UK or anywhere else in the world. Using chemicals to very treat much so. our bees. Right now, we don't really need to use very many chemicals or no, any at all. We don't. On our bees. We don't use chemicals on bees. So now, I've heard news that there might be a rogue colony brought in mm. from across to the Isle yeah. of Man. Could you tell us more about how this was found out and a little bit more of the story behind this? Well. I, I, I was told about it in November, and it, it, was, um, it was rather peculiar in my opinion. It, it, they were both hearsay, and this is our problem. Hearsay is not fact, but I, I have a suspicion that something happened. Because one was uh, in the North Island, uh, near Bride, where somebody described uh, or asked, is it illegal to bring bees in? And I'm told, yes, oh gosh, I know. Uh, possibly somebody's done that, brought them in. And the other one was, uh, and this is the peculiar thing about it, a friend of mine was uh, in Felton's, the Ironmongers in Peel, and he was told by the, the person behind the counter that a lady had come in who lived in uh, Williston or somewhere to say about, uh, in general chat, about somebody brought bees in, and uh, it, was, it wasn't Ill it illegal. So uh, trying to find out it, who is who is responsible? Who is involved in it? Is exceedingly difficult, and that's why I sort of publicised it on the Max Radio, and I also had it uh, put in the local press. Uh, I've had one call from the person, which was investigated and proved, fortunately, that it was a false alarm. But I didn't think that was an excellent thing to do. Somebody was, was um, sufficiently aware to come forward and I was happy, very happy with that. So if, if someone has accidentally brought in a hive, they're not going to be in trouble if they get in touch. We just need to go in yeah. and make sure that the Varroa isn't there in the hive. Take measures so that it doesn't infect the rest of the bees on the Isle of yeah. Man. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I've talked to the department and they're happy about it. And I've talked to our beekeepers and we're of a, of a general opinion that uh, it, it, it possibly, probably is through ignorance by being not aware of it. And unfortunately, it, that's his uh, problem here. It's not been made aware of. There's no notices up. They're just going to start happening now. But um, also, we need to go back to the media in the UK to tell people that, uh, or flag it back up again, that this is the problem. We don't want it in. But um, if somebody inadvertently brought in, purely and simply by ignorance of that, we will help that person. The bees need to be looked at, and I would suggest they have varroa. I, I, but one of the other things they could have the fowl root, which is also devastating. Very, very much so. Yes. Uh, and it, we would actually help them out with proper bees, 
but I mean the Manx bees. Kitchen Manx bees. Yeah. So uh, if, if you're a beginner beekeeper or just looking, you're moving here as a beekeeper from across and want to get set up with bees, how can you get bees on the island and also maybe used equipment because you cannot bring in bees or used equipment? That's correct. So how yeah, do you do it? Second hand equipment is, out, is banned by law and bees is banned by law, importation thereof by a post or whatever you want to do. Mm. But um, the, the local beekeepers are very willing to assist people to get started, make available uh, sufficient bees to, uh, we've now got a, we're very, very fortunate, we've got a group of um, keen individuals who are now uh, in our, within the, our federation, who are breeding uh, and going through the, the necessary things to produce uh, bees that are nice to handle. Such as yourself. So you do bee breeding. I do, yeah. And these are these are some of your hives, yes. aren't they? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's so under flying today and, it, and I would say it's about 40 degrees C. Yeah. Um, that's a good uh, advice <laughs> adverse advert for the Manx bees. Uh, they fly at low temperatures. They're there's got to be something, yeah. There's got to be a source somewhere for them to fly. There's not a lot of them, but they're still going out. So if people want to get more information yeah on becoming a beekeeper, yeah. about rules and regulations, or even just to get in touch to say, oh, I, I think I may have accidentally brought in a colony. Yeah. Who do they need to get in touch with? Well, they can do a, a couple of things. They can get hold of the department of agriculture in St. John's, phone them up, it's in the book, or get in touch with me. I'm very happy to, in fact, I'd be rather pleased if they did get in touch with me. And I'm freely available on, on 801-315, which is, my home number at the house and 494 246 is my mobile and I'd be only too happy to deal with the the the, the, the agreement with the beekeepers is, is already there who if somebody's done this and and they want to come forward they're not in trouble uh, they're in fact we'd be very pleased to see them and we I'd like to deal with the situation I hope it's not too late um, that the bees, the bees have can not be been replaced. Into, they can have they, yeah. bees. Um, but the situation yes. can't be replaced. Thank you so much, Harry. And so be in touch with Harry if you want any further yes. information. And the Isle of Man Beekeepers website is at the bottom as well.